Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of PJ's and Coffee Time. This one is going to be done with a twist today. I am actually pre-filming this ahead of time um, just so that I could get it in. So it's not going to be exactly a typical PJ's and Coffee Time. I'm actually, instead of having coffee, I'm actually having in my little wine glass, um, I'm having a little bit of Diet 7-Up. Um, I love these little cans. I think they're so cute. I saw them at HEB the other day and I was just like, oh, I want you in my life. And um, I had not had a Diet 7-Up in forever. So I was just like, you know what? I think I'm gonna have that. So I picked up, a, I guess a carton is what you would say. I picked up a little pack of them. Um, so yeah, so that's what I'm having this morning. And like I said, this is pre-filmed. It's actually the 4th of July is today's date. Um, so, uh, yeah, so because I'm going to be limited in time this weekend, I just did not want another weekend to go by and I didn't get a video up. And so I've got to put makeup on and I kind of enjoyed the last video that I did this way. So this is PJ's and coffee time with a twist. Today's topic is one of those topics that, um, I don't know, like, um, I'm kind of like letting you guys into a little bit more of my personal space. Cause some of this is going to hit pretty close to home for me personally. Um, but yeah, you know, it's, it's just, it's just how I'm feeling right now. And I kind of want to share that with you all. And I've already placed on my face. This is, um, a Becca. Um, I don't remember. Okay. Y'all know I'm not a beauty guru by no means. This girl just, you know, she has a bunch of makeup. And so this is one of those, um, I want to snap foundation. This is, um, and I don't have my glasses on, so y'all know I can't be telling y'all exactly what I'm having, but this is a primer. It is an illuminating primer, and this is by Becca, and y'all know I do love Becca brand. Almost everything that I've tried from Becca, I do really enjoy, and I have no idea what foundation I'm going to put on. I've got a couple of them here. My Born This Way, I think it's just about gone. I've, I, I didn't use this for a long time, and then it kind of like got a little bit darker, which meant it matched my skin perfectly because it was actually too light. So I'm going to see what left in this bottle and if there's enough left in this bottle I'm actually gonna place that on my face today but if not I think I'm gonna do the Cl Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation which I hadn't worn that one in a while either but yeah I'm gonna be sitting here kind of making up my face today and chatting with you guys about a few things um, you know like I said this steering close to me so at this time if you guys want to you know run and grab yourself a beverage of your choice and you know you know how we do this we're always gonna be comfortable I am comfortable I have had a shower today but other than that you know girl has been doing jack nothing so anyway i do have my primer on and so i'm gonna let you guys take a moment hit your pause button and run over and grab something i hope you're comfortable at this moment and come back and we're just gonna do some just casual chit chatting and have a great great morning okay so i'm so sorry i kind of started without you all i was watching tv and before i knew it i had threw on some foundation but um i did put on a little bit of the born this way and i felt like it just looked a little bit I don't know, not so pretty. Um, and then I put on top of it a little bit of Clinique. So now I'm working uh, graciously trying to get this uh, uh, tapped into my face in some way looking halfway decent. So you guys, uh, bear with me. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, um, today's video, I just kind of want to talk with you guys a little bit about uh, some things that I've been going through, some things that I've been dealing with. It actually started, um, I guess, a few months ago, well, was it months? I guess a few weeks back, a month or so ago, maybe two months ago. Um, I just, there was a lot going on in my life, you guys know, with the car and all that. And I don't know, I just started feeling some emotions that I had not felt in a long time. And I, well, you know what? I don't even want to say that I hadn't felt them in a long time. They were just emotions that maybe I had learned to um, suppress. And, um, and I wasn't aware that I had suppressed them. Even though some of the emotions I knew were there and I wanted to wait for the opportune time to bring them up. Um, you all know that I, uh, I was separated from my relationship for a while, a few years back. And um, it, was, it was something that was very much needed. And um, when I came back uh, to move back into this home, um, you know, it was under a few circumstances, under under certain conditions, you know, the conversation that people have when they're working on a relationship. And, um, you know, things were developing. Okay, how did I get, I, got, I really need to clean these makeup brushes, y'all. Um, things, uh, you know, they, they got okay there for a while and 
I was feeling pretty positive and then I kind of noticed that some of the things that had caused the reason for separation <laughs> some of the things that had caused the reason for separation were creeping back into our lives and um you know I at that point and okay mind you let me say something very 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 quickly uh, and I and I mean this y'all from the bottom of my heart when I'm sitting here telling y'all this story, I don't want anyone to say that this is what I'm recommending because I did this. I'm not saying that it is the best thing or what one should do. I'm just saying this is what I did. This is what Sheila inadvertently decided to do. Um, when I moved back in, um, you know, I did a lot to try and make the relationship the best that I could. I wanted, I wanted to have what quote unquote everybody else have you know I wanted that that romantic love feeling and you know I wanted to get I wanted to build the trust back up and all that good stuff and um like I said and for a few months things seemed to be going pretty good and then I noticed that things were creeping back into the ways of what it was before and at that point I personally just decided that you know what I don't have the energy anymore and I don't have that um I don't have that drive I and I know this sounds really crazy because some people would say well girl why didn't you just book out and do the whole D word and get it over with and um, and yes that that was an option and it's not like it's not an option now I mean like that's always an option um, but at that particular point I felt like I had exhausted a lot of energy in the time that I was gone and just I don't know I just I wanted I just didn't feel like at that point I could do anything. We had some other things that were happening in the background. Um, there were some health issues involved that I felt like I would not walk out on and I would, you know, see that through to the end. And, you know, and in turn, I found out that I had a great friend. Um, and you all will hear me refer to him quite often as he is my friend. Um, and me, me reaching a place in the relationship where I it was a happy place for me and um, yeah so that's kind of where I ended up going with that I just I didn't have the energy I didn't want to be out there I, I thought I just can't right now and so we became really good friends and um, while you know we still have like a lot of crazy issues um, we are we get along there's not like a and i mean we do have arguments don't get me wrong but we don't argue day to day there's never any like screaming matches or anything like that and there never was to be honest with you well there were a few times that some screaming matches happened based on um some things that took place that should not have taken place but um you know for the most part i'm not a screamer when i get upset about something i'm going to tell you how i feel and then i'm you know like that's just me i'm not gonna i'm not gonna hold back i'm gonna tell you how i feel but i don't have to stomp my feet swing glasses across the room or throw things at people or anything like that i'm just gonna you know let you know how i feel but um and i don't have my other spray with me in here So I'm spraying on some all nighter right now and I really, okay, let's do it this way. But um, I don't have my, my, I'm doing this in here and not in my bathroom. So I'm making things work right now because I don't have my bow dryer with me. But um, yeah, so, but you know, the other day um, something was said and I was ready to like I knew in the back of my mind that at some point there were some things I wanted to discuss with him. I wanted to bring up, I wanted to find out like, have it, have you ever concerned yourself with how all of this has affected me? Um, because honestly, if you listen to him, it's like all of a sudden over the, like the last few months, like there's all of this love that has developed for me. And, you know, there's that part of me that want to say like, wow, you know, because I do know that things like that can happen. But then there's the reality of it all that tells me that, um, I don't know. I don't know how to decipher the fact that because of the other things that you were going through and that I st stood by you and I was here, is it 
that you have found this love for me at this point because you see me for the beautiful person that I have and always have been or is it that because you can't go out and do the things that you were doing before that all of a sudden wow you know this thing at home is actually the perfect thing you know because I can't go out and seek the other or you know whatever oh I can't go out and hang you know I, I don't have the energy or I may not whatever to go out and be with the other guys and so while I never had the chance to speak my mind or speak my piece or ask the questions that I wanted to ask the other day I made an attempt to do that um, and the reason that I hadn't done it before wasn't because I was afraid to or anything like that it was basically because I felt like I wanted to do it when I was ready to do it and not when quote unquote you know just not at any given moment like I needed to have I needed to be prepared I wanted to, to come across in a good way I didn't want I didn't want it to come across like you know oh I'm trying to pick a fight or I'm po poking blame or anything like that I really wanted my emotions hurt because it is true we have become great friends and while I know that emotionally I don't know that that tie will ever be back there again but he's my friend and I care about him and I you know but I do also want to know that he understands where all of this has placed me and um, an attempt to do all that oh what I could did this come off of that y'all I just got a mess going look at my hand oh my gracious uh, I, don't, I guess I think when I my hands were wet and it rubbed some of this black off of this okay as you all can tell by the separation of this video I'm doing a few other things at the same time so I do apologize like I said time is of great essence for me today so I I do apologize but um, yeah so um, he totally dismissed me uh, when I asked him the question like do you really realize how it feels for me um, that I am struggling with trying to understand like did you wake up one day and truly have a revelation truly you know woke up one day and said you know what this is an awesome woman that I see before me and I am truly sorry for the things that I did or did you uh, or you know is this really truly because you have no other choice and honestly y'all I, I I I really 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 co I'm concerned about that I I want to know the answer and I don't know that I'll ever have the answer because the answer lies. the truth of the answer the truth in the answer lies with him and um, I know that you know for him to get him to tell the whole truth about the situation he's probably never going to do like he would never humble himself enough um, to say you know what I need to be truthful to her and you know I know that so I don't know but for lately it's just been on my mind um, I still feel that you know I I'm not you know I'm not sitting here saying oh my god you know I'm you know I'm getting ready to do this or do that because that's not what I'm saying I'm just saying that I am right now feeling some type of way about this whole thing like I had a conversation with uh, my son the other day and we were just kind of talking in general not like in specifics um, and if you want to know I'd be glad to tell you yes my son is fully aware of the circumstances in which I have my living situation um he doesn't know all the the gritty details but he does know um how i feel emotionally um and while you know it's really not a decision of his he respects my decision and he inadvertently just wants me to be happy and you know the question does come up well are you happy define happy like um i am happy for the most part I enjoy my life I enjoy going and doing things and and having fun things in, around me I do enjoy it do I sometimes miss or feel like I am alone in this world yes I do um, when I see couples really really having that that uh, magnet between the two of them or um, that fresh love when it's developing uh, that's usually when I feel some type of way the most I wonder like 
you know, I used to have a feeling like that. I used to have the butterflies in my stomach. I used to, you know, uh, look forward to certain things. And, you know, I truth be told, those things aren't, they don't exist in my world right now. Um, and yes, for the most part, I am, like I said, I, I, I deal with it. I'm good with it. I, I don't, um, I don't know. I, I, I think what I do is I look around me like the other night when my girlfriend and I were at the, at the bar, I said to a, an old, old friend of mine that I ran into, we were just kind of chatting. Okay, come on, get back in focus. Will you please? Um, had not seen this person in a long time. And we just commented about the scene that's out there. And I don't have a desire to be out there dealing with, you know, um, all the crazies. I just don't. I'm like, man, you know, I just rather just, you know, chill over here in my little corner and, you know, you do you, boo, you know. Um, but, um, yeah, so, honestly, you know, I don't, I, it's, it's, it's a strange situation. I'll be the first one to tell you. It is a very strange situation. And I guess the hardest part for me is not really knowing the answer and knowing that I probably will never know the answer because he would never tell me the truth. Um, he, like I said, he's a good guy in the sense like he loves catering to me. He loves giving me, um, He loves giving, you know, making me food, dinner, and, you know, uh, all those things. He, and he's always done that. Even in the midst of everything that was going wrong, like when, when things were just at their worst, this guy would still do all these wonderful things for me, which also makes it hard for me because it's like there is no distinguishing the difference. The only difference is, is that he's physically in the house now way more than he's ever been ever. Whereas the first part of our marriage, um, he lived, he was always gone. I never, you know, I mean, and, um, so like I said, the only difference now is that he is here and, um, for the most part, you know, so it is truly, I do these brows, something fierce y'all. I don't be knowing what I'm doing. I just be picking at them and trying to make them the best I know how. But yeah, so I kind of just needed to like, I guess say all this out loud. And some of this is probably not gonna make any sense to any of you all. And some of you might even have some real harsh things to say about it. And you know, that's totally fine too. It's kind of like when I came on and announced that I really was legally married. Some of you were like totally shocked. And some of you, I still don't even think, like maybe missed that video and still confused. Um, but yeah, so I, I am trying to be, now I'm not gonna ever be transparent, transparent, cause some of the stuff that happens in my life is just nobody's business but my own. So I ain't even gonna sit here and tell y'all that I'm trying to work on being transparent cause that ain't gonna happen. But I will say that I do, enjoy having these type of conversations with y'all because it does help me when I say things out loud and I know that just because or by me saying them out loud I'm helping someone else that's probably going through the same thing and um yeah so you know it's it's okay that I say a few things and if you have questions, I know you will. You can ask me the questions, you know. Um, if I feel like it's something I want to answer, I'll answer it. If it's something that I feel like it's none of your business, then I'm going to tell you. I, I'm not answering that, you know, whatever. So, um, but yeah, so that's what I've been dealing with a lot lately. I've just been feeling very, very confused on the inside. Um, I don't know if I'm hitting another phase in my life, you know, I'm about to have another birthday, you know, and, and I do know that we go through a lot of emotional things in life, um, the, especially being a female. And uh, I just want, I think more than anything, and I totally jumped tracked it just then, but um, I think more than anything, I want him to acknowledge that I do feel pain, that I was affected by all of the things that happened. And I think if I could just get him to acknowledge that, that would have 
been that would have meant the world to me and um but the truth is is he won't acknowledge it he doesn't really care i think um that it affected me the way that in any type of way because i feel that if he really cared that when i tried to speak about it that he wouldn't have shoved it off he wouldn't have been like very nonchalant about it like basically saying all you want to do is bring up old times all you want to do is is um you know uh live in the past or whatever and that's not what i'm doing i Sometimes you do have to speak of the past in order to have the future or to get on with the future. And um, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to disciple all of this. I, I moved back into this house and, and I tried with all the forces that I had to like rebuild and redo because, you know, a lot was going on in my head. And I, I can't disclaim disclose everything but a lot was going on in my head so i really wanted to give it everything that i had and um so i tried y'all i i did and um i i don't regret what i did now am i concerned at this point i am i'm concerned because i i am feeling some type of way here lately and i don't know how to how to handle the ways that I'm feeling because I think when I was ready to ask that question I really was hoping for a different a different answer a different aspect a different response coming back from him I didn't expect him to just kind of be nonchalant about it and really kind of like basically tell me like you know like whatever I don't know like um and now that I've heard that, I realized that that kind of maybe answers some of the questions that I have. That maybe this really wasn't anything, that like he wasn't having a revelation. That he was just, that he's just, you know, he's still very much himself. I don't know. So I, I sat here a very confused woman. And in sitting here saying that I'm a very confused woman, let me have a sip, y'all. Oh my goodness, that hit the spot. I watch a lot of YouTube. A lot of people tell me their problems. A lot of people share some pretty detailed information with me. I know I'm not the only one. I know from watching YouTube that couples break up every day. Couples have issues every day. Couples fight every day. There's all kinds of things that happen every day. I know from listening to other people that couples don't work. Things don't work. That everything that glitters isn't gold. Um, people pretend to be happy when they're not. Um, some people don't even know that they're not happy. I just talked about that when, you know, people think for, if you ask them for all intended purposes, are they happy? And they look at you with all sincerity and say yes because they didn't realize they weren't unhappy so I know that there's so much going on in the midst of the world that we live on in with our hearts and our minds and our soul and because I know that and I know that I'm not the only one out that's feeling or get these feelings or have these feelings or that's dealing with relationship questions or um, concerns of love um, you know um, I felt compelled to not only share a part of me, but to make it open to my subscribers and open to anyone who clicks on this video that may have something that they're going through, um, that they feel that they're not alone and that um, by me opening up, maybe I'm opening doors for them. Um, I did recently get an email um, that kind of, I guess, inadvertently kind of spiked this whole conversation and really made me want to like open up on YouTube about this because this person was sharing something about a relationship their relationship that they're going through right now and they're going they're in the midst of it right now and so things are real heated and things are real real just on fire um not necessarily good fire not the love fire it's it's the other way around and some real harsh decisions have to be made um and there's a lot involved in their situation and so in reading that email i i got to thinking and i said i really need to speak out about this i really need to share you know that i to show that i do understand and show that even though i know i wait a minute hold up i know that i've shared with you all some things and uh, but i also know that i haven't shared with you all everything 
or more things about you know how I'm feeling and how human I am and um, I said here before you all today the most human as I ever could possibly be I wake up some days and I feel great and I wake up some days and I feel horrible I feel very much alone I feel very uh, I, I long for things that I don't have and then the next day I wake up and I'm like, I'm good. You know, I don't want to deal with, like I, I try to imagine like if I was a single woman and I had to go out here and try to deal with like meeting a man. Oh my God, that scares me half to death. Like, <laughs> and I'm only 52, but it seriously, it scares me half to death. Like I'm like, you know, I'll take the lesser of the two evils. Why don't you? At least I know what I'm getting here. And that's another thing. Like I do, I know what I'm getting. Like I know that what I can expect and what I can't expect from him. Does that make sense? Um, okay, what am I trying to do here? I know that of what he's capable of giving and because I know that, it allows me to be able to function through it, if that makes any sense. I'm sure this video has really got some people confused but the person that sent me the email they will get a lot from this because they're going to know that they're not alone and um they're going to know that if i'm willing to sit in front of this camera and talk about what i'm going through then they will be able to be able to speak and voice their own emotions to their significant other and to the family of the people that really need to know for various reasons so yeah but um so this is a pretty intense video y'all um but as of right now you know i'm good like I said, I do have my days. Some of you are probably wondering, okay, what is she saying? You know, like, we're trying to figure out this woman that's sitting in the front of this camera. She, what is she saying? She's saying a lot, but she's not saying anything. And I don't know what I'm saying, honestly. I know that I'm just speaking out right now. I'm speaking out loud. I'm sharing emotions. And because I'm putting on this makeup, I can't cry. <laughs> but, um... I am, I am dealing with some very serious emotional feelings because I am wondering and to some of you that are saying, girl, I don't understand you because why wouldn't you just walk the holy heck on out of that situation and not look back? And you know what? I've asked myself that question and I know the answer is not what anybody would want to hear, but it's the truth. I'm doing what I feel is best right now and I'm okay with that. And in any relationship, it is not for the neighbors or the best friends or the moms or the dads or the cousins or anybody to make a decision for any of us and even though sometimes our we look at others and we're like what are you doing like you you've got to be crazy we're not in their shoes we don't it's so easy to set to the right or to the left and speak to another person about what they should or should not do but I've been in a lot of things in my life. I've had, I could probably make all of y'all cringe if I shared my real life with y'all and some of the dark places that I had to pull myself out of and some of the situations that I found myself in through my first marriage, through this marriage, through, you know, just in life in general. I have had to fight, fight for every smile that I have on my face. 
Okay. <clears throat> Yes, um, there was a time in my life that I never smiled. That I cried almost every single day of my life. All right, y'all, I do apologize for that small emotional outbreak there that was not intended. Um, but yeah, so I need to kind of wrap this thing up um, and I will come back on once I'm completely dressed and looking a little bit better than I'm looking now. Uh, for the most part, this is pretty much the look that I am going with today. I am not, I don't, I'm not gonna do anything else to my face. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll wrap this up and when I'm, my hair is together and all that good stuff, but um, All right, I'm so sorry for that uh, very unexpected emotional breakdown. Um, I took a few minutes to get myself together and as you can see, I have uh, finished the whole getting ready situation. Um, I, As I mentioned, I'm pre-filming this today. It's actually uh, the 4th of July. I don't know if I said that before or not, but um, yeah, so I'm getting ready to head out and run some errands. But in conclusion to this whole video, if you take nothing from this, um, if you're a person that has put someone through something and it's not a judgment zone, I'm not saying that I'm judging or someone else should be judging you, whatever the situation might be, if someone you are involved with or have been involved with or whatever, whatever, if you put them through a situation to whatever magnitude it might be, when they approach you with the need to talk, however embarrassing or however you may want it to be behind you, understand that it's not just about your emotions, it's about someone else's, that other person's emotions as well. Um, they too have to figure out a way to cope and sometimes their way to cope is just for you to hear them out or um, for you to just listen and acknowledge what you put them through. Um, and then it, and that could be it for them. That could be the one thing that they have been longing for um, and just didn't know how or wasn't ready to, to put it out there on the table. And if you're a person that's going through it and you're trying to figure all of this out, <laughs> you're not alone. Um, I know there's a world and especially in the social media world, you have some people that paint this perfect picture. They paint their lives as being everyday picture perfect. Their bodies are picture perfect. Their relationships are picture perfect. And there's no ever ill feelings amongst anything. Nothing ever goes wrong. Well, unfortunately, I say unfortunately, but reality is that nothing's perfect. Nothing is going to ever be perfect. We are all imperfections of life. We have our own set of issues, each and every one of us. Uh, some are bigger, some are smaller, but we all have our own set of issues. So what you're going through, it may not be the same issue that someone else is going through, but you're not alone in that you will have issues. Um, the situation that I'm dealing with myself, I'm not alone in this. There are other people feeling the same way. Uh, the hardest part I think of dealing with all of it is coming to the reality of is just being real and true to yourself. And once you get to that point, somehow or another, it all gets really, I won't say like significantly easier, but it gets much easier. Um, and do you have good days? Yes. Do you have bad days? Yes. I have good and I have bad, as I've addressed in this video. Um, right now, I, I don't even wanna call them bad days, but I'm just having some days where I'm questioning and I'm wondering and I'm feeling a little something, something inside. And I, I can't even identify with all the emotions myself yet. I'm still working on that. Um, but one thing I will say is I wake up every day with a positive mind, a positive attitude, 
and I and I ask God to give me what it takes to get me through this day meaning I take it one day at a time I will never make any false promises I will never sit here and say I will never this will never I'm gonna do I'm not gonna do I'm gonna sit here in front of this camera and acknowledge that I am a very imperfected person imperfected person imp Im imperfect person and um I want to address everyone out there that is imperfect like me to take your life one day at a time. Don't dwell on what others say that is the norm or what you should or should not do or you should take this from him or her or you shouldn't take this from him or her or you're crazy for being there. You're not crazy for being there. Why don't you go back? Why don't you do this? Zip it. Tell everyone to just zip it. You don't need to hear their opinion. You look in here, you figure out what makes you happy. And even if it makes you happy today and then tomorrow, you're like, oh my God, I can't do that anymore. It's okay. Because the only person that has to live your life is you. And when you come to a conclusion of whatever it might be, whether it's with your children, whether it's with your husband, your wife, a family member, whatever. Whenever you come to your conclusion, to whatever you're dealing with, it is your conclusion. You have then made the choice yourself. Thank you guys so much for listening to this rambling situation of a video. Um, I know it's very confusing. I will not deny that in the least. I've kind of ran all around I haven't told you a lot of things, but that I've told you enough to make you go, what? And I get that. But I basically needed to speak out loud today. And I know that there is a person that's watching this video that's going to take something from it. And they're going to, like I said, know that they're not alone. So if you found this video to be somewhat helpful, I'm going to ask you to thumbs up this video. If you're a person that is going through something and you don't really know how to define what it is that you're going through, thumbs up this video. If you're a person that feel that life is really, really often you some complicated moments right now, thumbs up this video. And if you're just a person that's sitting here watching this video and you're just not sure what's going on, thumbs up this video also, because that's okay. Please subscribe to my channel. And once you subscribe to that channel, make sure you hit that notification bell because that way you'll be notified each and every time I do a video. My videos are very imperfect. They're very unrehearsed. They're very much real life. I wake up and I vlog, I wake up and I do a video. I'm just me. I live my life day by day. I chose to share it on social media for whatever reason. I feel I have a gift. I feel that people come to me for a reason. So I'm gonna use this platform to speak out, to share, to be there for, to be honest with, to be open with. So if you wanna be a part of that, then come on over. I welcome you with open arms. Thank you guys so much again. Your comments are welcome. Just remember, we like to keep things in good taste on this channel, so let's keep that in mind. If you need to speak to me on a more personal level, my email address is included in the description area of this video, as it is always. My arms and heart go out to you. I welcome anything that you need to discuss, any emotion that you're having. This is definitely a judge free zone. You're free to speak. You're free to live. You're free to be you right here with me. Thanks again, y'all.